Good afternoon from Epcot. We are back at the International Festival of the Arts. We're gonna check out a few more things that we did last time we were here. Try some food, maybe see some uh, performances. Maybe uh, go back where, uh, in France, where they have opened a section of the expansion. Obviously not the attraction yet. So we'll go and check out all those things on this Thrill Geek adventure. So over here, across from the entrance of the land, is the expression section. It's a paint-by-numbers mural. It looks like we are now on the second one of the festival. Um, basically, you go over to this booth over here. You get your uh, paint in your section you're going to be painting. And then you have to wait in line, unfortunately. And then they assign, you assign a numbered section in a specific part of the mural. It's a nice little neat little thing to be a part of a piece of artwork and then you get a little print of uh, what the final product is supposed to look like. One of the uh, cool things about the Festival of Arts is you know, not only can you stroll around and see different art, you can even see different stuff being created. Like, I mean, you got screen printed t-shirts here at the Enemy Ink booth. Um, all kinds of different designs that they screen print right in front of you. Um, so it's one of the many cool different things where you can actually see things created. Many of the booths this year you do have to wait to be able to walk inside so you just often align to be able to go in and look at the art. Showing the busier days, slower days not as much. But unfortunately that is because of the things that are going on right now. Coronavirus, you will sometimes have to wait to get into the different art tents. One of the things missing from this year's Festival of the Arts are the Disney on Broadway concert series. Unfortunately, you can't pack full the American Gardens Theater. Um, so Mariachi Cobra continues their residency at, at this point. They've been playing here since the park reopened. Um, they are doing Animation Academy in the mornings sometimes. And uh, new this year is the Voices of Liberty are doing a Disney songbook show, which at least you'll get be able to get to hear some of the uh, Disney songs this year done by the Great Voices of Liberty. So, like you see, the festival is the Taste of Epcot, International Festival of the Arts. So at least we are getting some Disney songs being sung this year here at the American Gardens Theater. Hey, it's Goofy and Pluto, and I think here comes Mickey and Minnie. here in the Wonderground Gallery tent, which is some of my favorite Disney artwork, is the Wonderground Gallery stuff. And they have two tents, they have one here, they have one over there. Lots of really cool artwork. Like the new filler magic, magic one from Jared. Mariyama, Mariyo, Mariyama? Yeah, I can never say his name right. We got Stitch. And what is this one called? Experiment of Cute. <laughs> oh, that's Stitch's Experiment of Cute. Side of Cute. <laughs> Lots of fun style Disney artwork. It's pretty much what the Wonderground Gallery stuff is known for. And they even got some phone cases. We are at the new Vibrante Vivido food studio between Morocco and France, which is 
brand new this year, and uh, we got I got the blue corn pupusa stuffed with cheese, taco shredded pork, gallo, arbol, arbol, chili sauce, cabbage slaw, and ahi amarillo crema. It looks very tasty. Um, also at this booth is chilled seafood cocktail and a passion fruit mousse, and some different uh, smoothies and frozen uh, drinks. Um, this is also part of the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine where you purchase five of, of these different vibrant food items and receive a tasty technicolor treat. So I'm going to take a bite into this. All right, I got my blue corn pupusa. Sun is coming out bright. Let's cut this thing in half. I see the blue corn. Give this a try. Make sure we get some of that cabbage on there. Some the pork. Come on. Oh wow. This is very good. <laughs> Got a slight little kick to it. Uh, this may be the best thing I've tried at the festival so far. Um, it's 6.50 and that's a pretty good amount of food for 6.50. I think this is the favorite thing I've had at the festival so far. So the restrooms here in Morocco are being refurbed and that sign says, uh, please use restaurants located in France. Are there some new restrooms in France open now? Let's go check it out. So over here on the side of the France Pavilion, they have opened up the walkway to where the Ratatouille attraction will be. Basically the expansion of the France Pavilion. They've been working on the last two or three years. <laughs> like three years now. Obviously things have been delayed because of the pandemic. As you can see, they did a great job theming the side here, which I think some of it was themed already. The beautiful walkway, one of the neat things is the details of the, if you look very close, you can see a rat in the, uh, in the fencing here. Yeah, and you got a great view over here, of the canal that connects to the World Showcase Lagoon. And of course you got the Skyliner. Coming by. If you look way off in the distance over here, it's the the crepe crepery that'll be opening. And then of course, the walls are still up for the rest of the expansion. You look. Let's see if we get around that tree there. You can see the Gusto sign which is on front of the building where the Ratatouille attraction will be. It'll be nice to have a new attraction. Here's where the stroller parking will be. Here at Epcot, a brand new attraction. It's not replacing anything. And here's the, what looks like will be the line for the crepery. And there's a restroom. So, fortunately now you can sort of see the forced perspective Eiffel Tower, not the greatest, but it's going to be nice to have a new attraction here at Epcot. Lines can get fairly long, especially on busy days like today, for some of the food studios. I mean, this line starts back there, goes all the way, wraps around through there to there. Obviously, they look longer than they actually are, but it's still a pretty good wait for a food booth. Now in the UK pavilion, they have some art easels spread out. There's the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. And then we head over here to the to the, sort of the courtyard gardens area. They have a bunch of easels spread out. You got Belle and it looks like Maurice painted that and Doc painted uh, Snow White. And then 
Flora and Meriwether apparently are arguing over who painted what <laughs> on their easel. And Mulan, and it's like Mushu painted this, or it looks like he used his uh, dragon fire to paint that. <laughs> then you got Donald Duck over here. So it's a cute little art display thing. It makes it look like artists have been in some different Disney characters have been at work painting uh, paintings here in the UK pavilion. This is, this is one thing I haven't seen before. They have added sit-down tables, some uh, stand-up bar style tables here in the UK pavilion to help with uh, physical distancing. It's a pretty smart idea, especially considering some of the shops in the UK pavilion still aren't open. But it's a nice an idea places for people to sit down and eat. The last few months, the Jaminators have moved over here to the mill stage in Canada. Um, some Voices of Liberty has joined Mariachi Cobra and American Gun Theater. So you never know, you walk by, you might be able to catch a show. It's just nice to see any entertainment going on. So. As you can see behind me, work continues on Harmonious with two of the five barges out here. Hopefully, it's we hope. It'll be open later this year. I don't know about summer, maybe fall. Maybe they'll hold it back for October 1st for the 50th anniversary celebration beginning. But they are continuing to work on it. Um, and uh, I think that's it for our little lap around the Taste of Epcot <laughs> International Festival of the Arts. We had some food. We saw some art. We saw a little bit of entertainment. Got a nice little lap around, which is one of the things we love about Epcot is you can just come here. Um, especially if you have an annual pass, you take a lap, you go home. You know, it's a nice place to visit and get, get a little exercise in too. So, and like we like we usually do, we like to keep these Thrill Geek adventures short, um, bite-sized, easy to watch anytime. So please click that subscribe button, leave a comment and, or a question, and we will usually get back to you. And everybody stay safe out there and we'll see you in the parks. Thanks for watching.